It's not hard to see the impact Cincinnati has in shaping Winthrop head coach Pat Kelsey. Whether it's the state title in basketball at Elder High School, his beloved Cincinnati Reds, the oldest team in professional baseball, Skyline Chili, usually the three-way with a Coney, and of course, Grater's Ice Cream. All that pales in comparison when it comes to Pat's family and the most important coach in his life, his father, Mike Kelsey. Pat could have been good at a lot of things, and uh, there's no, no doubt that he would have been a really, really good car guy. He'd be a really big part of, of this organization. And uh, But it did not surprise me in the least that that wasn't his cup of tea. Uh, his, his years at Xavier, his years at Wake Forest, his years with Skip Prosser had, had, had focused him on a path that was totally different from mine. He really took my dream. Uh, and, and made it happen. You know, I, I wanted to be a coach. I did coach for a couple of years in high school. And in the end, uh, knowing what size family we, we hoped we'd have, uh, you know, I, I taught for a year at Roger Bacon High School for $5,500. Got to work at 7.30, went home at 7.30 p.m. And uh, my check for the year was $5,500. And I think it was my second year in the car business, I made $5,500 in one month. <laughs> Tough decision, but I sucked it up. <laughs> Fortunately, I can, I can live my coaching wannabes uh, through my son. And uh, the other sons are here with me and uh, living the dream. Somebody coached me. <laughs> I know. And, and, I didn't really think all that much about uh, the, the big coaching job for Paul and Walt when we were working at the other dealership uh, because I didn't need to. They, they, they just they, they sucked it up. They knew that they had to learn. They had to get after it. And they learned a lot of things, like I did, what not to do. Yeah. You, know, you had to do the right things, not the lousy. Anybody can do that. Yeah. And they're not going to be, usually they're not going to be successful. Yeah. You get lucky. Uh, who wants to be lucky? Just lucky. <laughs> you got to be good. <laughs> father has to be a teacher. You know, if he's a good father, he is a teacher. And if he's a really good teacher, his kids are going to learn something. Uh, and you got to you got to work at it. You got you got to want to be the best. We may not be the best, but you got to give it your best. And you've got it, it, you have to be at the highest level that you're capable of. This, this whole situation here is living the dream and watching the boys flourish and uh, watching our people fly. They're, they're, it's just, it's, it has to be the same feeling as Pat watching his kids move on and, you know, play professionally or, you know, just go on and be successful in something that, uh, it, that that's what we all think about now. It's passion. We're passionate about our, our wives. We're passionate about our children. We're passionate about our grandchildren and our great-grandchild. Uh, passion makes a lot of things happen. So I watch Pat in those huddles sometimes, and, you know, he's got it. I know Paul's got it. I know Walt's got it. Uh, it's a blessing. 